Hey, hey, everybody. It's Galanda with Recipes with a Message. Come on in. Do I have a quick word for you on today? So come on in. Let me know where you're coming in from. Let me know if it's your first time joining me. I just got a quick little word for you on today. Hope I can bless your Sunday. Bless your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all week long. So come on in. Come on in and send me hello. How you doing? I want to say hey to some people. I want to say hello to some people. So y'all come on in. Let me know where you're coming in from. And let me know if it's your first time viewing me on today. I'm so excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. But he is an awesome God. And I just want to share a moment, just a moment with y'all about his goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. And his love and his grace. Hallelujah. I just want to let you know today that God loves you and he has not forgotten about you. I don't care what predicament you find yourself in, that God loves you and he has not forgotten about you. And he is not limited. That means he can work a situation out for you instantly. I told somebody on this morning, hallelujah, it ain't about where you've been waiting at, but God can come into your waiting moment, hallelujah, and turn it all around for you. So I just want to be found encouraging you on today to get up out of that place you are in, lift your head up very high and know that God is still God. Hallelujah. He is on the throne and he is still God. Hallelujah. And no matter where you are on this earth, hallelujah, whether you're in the valley or the mountaintop, God is still God and he can still come through for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, the late great Dr. Miles Monroe made a statement one time. I made a quote and it was that what purpose is unknown, abuse is inevitable. It's what purpose is unknown, abuse is inevitable. Let me tell you something. If you don't know your purpose, you are bound to walk through life, abusing life and abusing the purpose and why you're here. So a lot of times we end up in situations with people and doing things that do not reflect our purpose in God. Hallelujah. Because where purpose is not known, Bruce, abuse is inevitable. That means that if you don't know what you're here for and you don't have a clue what you're doing, you'll be doing anything and you'll be shooting aimlessly at life. Y'all, I am right here, right now, outside enjoying nature because this is what I believe. I believe nature speaks to me because God is in everything. Hallelujah. His creativity is here. His wisdom is here. His peace is here. Hallelujah. I mean, just sitting in nature. I encourage somebody right now to get out of your house uh, uh, and sit in your yard, go to a park somewhere and then just enjoy the beauty of nature. Hallelujah. Because it will speak to you as, as to the wholeness of God, the attributes of God. Look how beautifully God cares for his earth. I'm not talking about what man did to it by cutting down his trees and all this. So I'm talking about just take a look at the beauty of God. Hallelujah. All around me, all around me is his beauty, beauty and glory. Hallelujah. But I begin to speak to y'all on purpose and I'm going to get out y'all's way. I'm not going to hold y'all long because I believe this right here. This one little bit that I said can help you know why you are here. Do you know that this is not our home? Heaven is my home. Hallelujah. I'm just here for a little while. Hallelujah. But heaven is my home. And one way of knowing your purpose is to focus on why you are here. Hallelujah. And who you are when you're here. Hallelujah. Peter uh, chapter 2 verse 9 says this. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Now, Lord, today I give you glory. Hallelujah for calling me out of darkness into your marvelous light. I know now, Lord, I'm not here by accident. Hallelujah. I have a purpose for being here, and that's to lift up praises to your name. Hallelujah. And give glory to you. So that's why y'all see me right here on Good Old Soul Food Recipes this morning. Hallelujah. That's why y'all see me on Recipes with a Message today. Hallelujah. Because 
I come to lift up nothing but the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's the first purpose you need to figure out that you're here for. You are here to lift up the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To sing praises to his name and give him glory. That's the first thing you need to discover. And let me tell you something. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things will be added unto you. First thing you need to know your purpose is here to seek God to seek his kingdom, seek his righteousness, and everything else that you that pertains to your life here will be added as you go. Hallelujah. So first be found seeking him and his righteousness. Hallelujah. See, I ain't got to be concerned about what's going on next week. I ain't got to be concerned about what's going on in my life today because I am here to seek God and his righteousness. Hallelujah. And I know that everything that I need will be added to me. Hallelujah. So that is peace. Hallelujah. That is peace and joy knowing that God has got me taken care of. I ain't got to fret. I ain't got to worry. Hallelujah. I can just trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Bible did tell us to trust in the Lord with all our heart. Lean not on our own understanding. And in all our ways acknowledge him. And he will do what? Direct our path. Thy word, O oh God, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hallelujah. So listen, y'all. Without taking up a lot of your time, I come to tell somebody, stop thinking of yourself and smile. You are great. You are a child of the king. No longer have no issues with self-esteem today because I break that now in the name of Jesus. Do you know Second Peter said that you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are chosen by God, given a purpose to serve here on this earth. And if you don't know what your purpose is, just ask God for it. Because he tells us, Dr. Myron Monroe said, where well, purpose is unknown, abuse is inevitable. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily abusing yourself. That means you'll let other people abuse you too. Hallelujah. But when you know your purpose, can't nobody walk all over you. Can't nobody step on you because you know who you are in God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to be found telling somebody, hallelujah, glory to God, this one thing. Don't never think a day in your life that you smile. You are great in him. Hallelujah. You are called to fulfill a purpose while you are here on earth. Hallelujah. God has given us all a mandate to do something while we are here in this earth realm. Hallelujah. To move mountains. Hallelujah. To knock down walls. Hallelujah. To build things, oh God, and to, pe and to build people. You are here for a purpose. Don't you ever forget it. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. So your job, if you nothing else or you don't discover nothing else, you know your job in being here is to bring the kingdom of heaven down here in the earth. Hallelujah. Stop waiting to the sweet by and by to have joy. Stop waiting on the sweet by and by to have liberty. Stop waiting on the sweet by and by to believe that you're going to have a mansion in the sky. Now God can give you a mansion right here in the earth. Hallelujah. God can give you peace right here in the earth hallelujah thy kingdom come thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven ho ho sick it is shit y'all gonna make me preach right here in this part today hallelujah i feel this thing hallelujah hallelujah stop thinking of yourself it's small hallelujah hallelujah you are not a drop in the ocean one one quote is saying you are not a drop in the ocean you are the ocean in the drop baby you are the entire ocean in the drop baby god made you perfect hallelujah and god gave you a purpose to fulfill in this earth hallelujah let me tell you something before i even landed in my mama's womb there was purpose spoken on my life before God even knitted me together in my mother's womb, he gave me a divine purpose to walk in this earth. Hallelujah. You will not be content. You not, will not feel peaceful. You do not feel good until you are walking in your divine purpose. Hallelujah. You are doing what God created you to do. Hallelujah. There are things that come with walking with God and knowing your purpose. Hallelujah. There are special things that come. That means that you can't look at circumstances and situations that's going on in the world and get discouraged because you know who you are. You know you have a mission to fulfill in this earth. That's why I ain't concerned about the coronavirus. That's why I ain't concerned about this presidential debate debate i know that my god sits high looks low he's on the throne and he's doing it all hallelujah and he has a plan i challenge you don't sit back another day without coming to the lord and asking him lord what was i created for before god placed me in my mother's womb he says in jeremiah he knew me 
Hallelujah. He spoke over me. Hey, hey, say, they all kuru say. And he gave me a plan and a purpose to fulfill in this earth. Hallelujah. And I believe with all my heart, if I be a woman of God, I believe I'm in that divine vein, that divine purpose. And that is to speak his goodness to you. It is to remind you to go and search for who you are. Hallelujah. And God going to meet you right where you are. And all these things that you've been waiting on and you've been praying for, when you step into that divine place. Hallelujah. Everything that you've been praying for, everything that you've been believing God for is going to come and touch your life. In due season. Hallelujah. You can't get weary and you can't faint. Just keep on searching for God. Keep on being in his presence. Hallelujah. And everything that you need will come to you. Hallelujah. It's a divine flow going on right now. See, too many people got their eyes on what's going on in the world. But the Bible says, even though I'm in this world, I'm not of this world. My eyes is on what's going on in the kingdom. My eyes is on what's going on in God's house. What's going on in the kingdom. My eyes is on what the instructions of the Lord is for me to do in this earth at this time. Hallelujah. Get your eyes off of what's going on in the world and get your eyes on kingdom business. Become kingdom minded, not small minded, not worldly minded, not cornerly minded, but get your eyes on what's going on in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Thou will Will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Your purpose is to allow the will of God to be done in the earth as it is in heaven. If you don't know what's going on in heaven, you can't bring heaven to earth. Get in your word, learn what your word says, hallelujah, and speak those things that be not as though they are. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is, what family member you got that's lost, begin to speak those things over them that be not as if they are already. Hallelujah. Because now you're calling down kingdom principles. Now you're calling down the works of the kingdom in your life. Hallelujah. You cannot be limited and you cannot be denied when you call in on the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. To come to your rescue. I said rescue. Yeah. See a little old girl about 22 years old lost and confused the lord came to my rescue delivered me set me free and put me on in a place that i had never experienced called kingdom living hallelujah so i want to tell somebody all you got to do today under the sign of my voice and make up your mind so you may say i don't know the word i don't know the bible like that but i guarantee you when you make up your mind the connection is made you get in his word his word will teach you your word your mind will open up i am not the smartest chicken in the in the in the shell but i can tell you this right here when god came knocking my my mind opened up to everything divine that he had to say to me hallelujah i'm walking in complete victory because i came from victory now i told y'all to shift your mind to kingdom thinking that's why i know i came from victory so i can think victorious because i came from victory hallelujah i'm about to preach my own self happy right here in this part hallelujah glory to god somebody need this on the day you need to know this unless you find yourself searching your purpose and getting into your purpose and why you were here what you were created for you're not created by accident you're you on purpose baby god gave you a purpose it's a reason why you're here hallelujah let me tell you something it's not about self-gain. It's not about self-notoriety. It's not about you looking good. Hallelujah. It's not even about you at all. It's about you fulfilling his purpose in this earth while you're here. God, what did you create me for? Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. God, I'm here to hearken to your will. I'm here to do the will of the Father. Tell me what it is that I'm supposed to be doing in the earth. I guarantee you if you pray that prayer, God going to start revealing stuff to you. Hallelujah. That's going to change your life and everybody's life around you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. There's some people right now waiting on your testimony, woman of God. There's some people right now waiting on your testimony, man of God. Don't you sit back another day getting fat with the word and not sharing what God gave you. That's what's wrong sometimes in the church. People done got fat with the word, growed old, and died. They didn't get the word and go out and tell the word to nobody else that they may be saved. They may be set free. That's why I'm sitting right here at Teague Park, right here in Longview, Texas, giving you a word on today. There's a purpose for your life. If you're waking up every day aimlessly, 
and don't feel like you don't know what you're going to do with your life, worrying about bills and worried about concerns and worried about if he going to come home, worried about if she going to come home, worried if they're going to do you right. That's not your purpose. Your purpose is to live and do the will of the Father. Hallelujah. To live this life and let people look at you and want to know your God. Hallelujah. That's your purpose in life. Will somebody look at you and want to know your God? Will somebody lost want to come to you and talk to you and get to experience what you've ex experiencing? It ain't about my bills being paid, y'all. I'm out here ministering to y'all and I got concerns. I got things on the table. But I know this one thing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things will be added to you. Right now I'm speaking to you and my bills are being paid in the spirit realm because I'm calling down heaven. Y'all don't understand. I'm calling down the kingdom in my situation. Right now I'm speaking to you and everybody in my family that I want to be delivered, set free is being done because I'm seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things coming on, they're connecting to me. They adding to me. Everything that's connected to me is coming out. Woman of God, everything that's connected to you is coming out. Won't you be found praying? Won't you be seeking ye first the kingdom of God? And everything that concerns you concerns God, baby. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, say, he she, he say. I feel the peace of God. Hallelujah. I feel the peace of God. I want to tell somebody, don't you worry about fitting in. Hallelujah. You weren't meant to fit in, baby. You were meant to stand out. Don't you dare worry about fitting in to nobody's status quo or who you should be. You were made to be different for a reason. Hallelujah. Many years I battled with being different. But now I know my difference is who what, what makes me who I am. Hallelujah. My difference is makes me who makes me shine. The difference that God put on my life. I got to thinking about this story, y'all. I'm gonna get out y'all's way. Hallelujah. I begin to think about the little ugly duckling. You remember the little ugly duckling, the story of the ugly duckling? How that ugly duckling wasn't accepted by his family. When accepted by his friends, everywhere he went, everybody said, you just a little ugly duckling. you just a little ugly duck. So he got discouraged and moved away and went away and swam away to another tribe of ducks. Hallelujah. They were called geese. And he got over with the geese. And the geese started laughing and talking about him. The geese started making fun of him. The geese started saying, mm, you look different. You don't look like a geese. And they started talking about it. Well, he traveled on about because his feelings were hurt again. Hallelujah. But anyway, long story short, that duck traveled and traveled, and he got with some other ducks. They were called swans. And before he knew it, without even looking, because he didn't even want to look at himself no more, he was so discouraged by everybody saying what he was because he was different. So he didn't even want to look at himself no more. And one of those swans said, look to him and said, you got pretty feathers. Oh, you got such a pretty shade of color. You got. He thought about it. He went and looked in the pond at the reflection in the pond, and he saw he was a swan. I want to tell somebody, God going to place you in the midst of your peers. God is going to put you with what looks like you. Hallelujah. You ain't got to worry about fitting in. God is going to land you in a place where you fit in perfectly, baby. And matter of fact, not only will you fit in, you'll be the beautifulest one in the bunch. So stop focusing on the way you look. Stop focusing on the way you talk. Stop focusing on what you don't have. God is going to move you into a place that you're going to be in the midst of your peers. People that look just like you. People that preach like you. People that desire your word. People that want to be around you. Hey, hey, say, Katie, old quarter. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. As his breeze passes through me, I cannot see it, y'all, but I feel it. That's what God is doing to you right now. I know you feel the Holy Spirit. I know you feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. That breeze is passing to I feel God, but I can't see him. Hey, he said, Katie, old quarter say, I witness him through the moving of the leaves of the trees. I see the blades of grass moving. Hallelujah. I witness his beauty with the water sounds around me and everything like that. But y'all know I can't see it, but I can feel him. How many can feel the Holy Ghost right now? Hallelujah. Oh, he say, can you feel his presence right now? Hallelujah. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You are perfect. Hallelujah. You didn't come here to have no earthly experience. You came here to bring the kingdom to the earth. 
Hallelujah. You came here to bring kingdom to this earth. Hallelujah. The reality of the kingdom to the earth. You know, the reality of the kingdom, there's no sickness in heaven. You came to bring that right there. You come to tell somebody, hallelujah, you ain't got to be sick another day in your life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Hallelujah. That's kingdom minded. That's purpose driven. Hallelujah. That's life. Hallelujah. You be blessed on today. Send me love on the way out if I minister to you on today. If I help you on today. And if you want to sow it to my ministry, you don't have to. But if you want to sow a seed into this word, hallelujah, you can do it by Cash App Galanda Gore. Cash App Galanda Gore. Dollar Sign Galanda Gore. I'm sorry, y'all. Dollar Sign Galanda Gore. That's through Cash App if you desire to sow. But you don't have to. You got the word anyway. The word will work for you. You got it anyway. Hallelujah. I love y'all. I pray y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to sit out here, sip on my drink, enjoy this weather. Hallelujah. Enjoy the breeze. Hallelujah. Whew. Touch the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope this word touched you on today. I hope you are blessed by this word on today. Y'all, God is amazing. Don't set another day in a dark, depressed house. Get out and feel his glory. Get out and look up at the sky. I mean, I mean, really look up at nature. I mean, really, really take the time to look. Stuff that you forget about when you're wearing. Stuff that you don't think about when you got concerns and everything. Go on and, and go, say the God that created all this and created me is able to take care of everything that I need. Y'all got to push past everything that you see. Hallelujah. Everything that you see and hear, you got to push past all that. That ear gate, eye gate, mouth gate, you got to protect that gate. Stop putting stuff in your spirit, hallelujah, that you don't want to grow. Stop putting stuff in your spirit that you don't want to grow. Because what you feed will grow. What you feed will grow. If you want something to grow, feed yourself. Eat this word. <laughs> Eat that word of God and watch won't you grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, I'm a ninth grade dropout. If it was based on education, I couldn't find God. But God is higher than your education and your thinking. God can go over that, around that. So don't you tell yourself you can't teach yourself or be learned or be taught through the word of God because he can and he will. Hallelujah. There was no school. There wasn't all that going on in the Bible days. We talking about Peter, Mark, Luke, John, and all the rest of them right now this day. And I don't know if them sitting down in no desk being taught by the educational system. Hallelujah. This is called Holy Ghost University, y'all, right here in front of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Holy Ghost University. Yeah, that's where I went to school at. <laughs> Oh, y'all be blessed on today. I love y'all. Send me love on the way out. For some reason, I can't see your comments, so I have to uh, read them when I get off and reply to you when I get off, and y'all know I will. I like talking to y'all, so I pray that y'all are blessed. I pray that y'all have a blessed, prosperous week, and you will. All you got to do is receive it. I pray that I said something to let you know that, wait a minute now, I'm not here just to be a wife a mother, a cook, a cleaner, a worker, an employee, or an employer. I got a divine call on my life. God has purposed me for something. Before he placed me in my mother's womb, he told me what that something is. Now, because I came into the earth realm born into sin, it ain't, I, I ain't grabbed it all. But God would divinely order my steps because he said in his word that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I will find myself in a place that I will know, wait a minute, this is what I'm here for. Hallelujah. I wasn't here to be all those other things that the world is attached to me. I am here because God gave me a purpose in mind. God had a purpose in mind for me. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all be blessed on today. I love y'all. Send me love on the way out. And I'm, that's my last time. Send me love on the way out. I'm gone, y'all. I can talk to y'all all day long. But I'm finna get out here and enjoy this weather. I'm finna walk around this pond and, and feed the ducks. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to feed the ducks today. Some crackers. <laughs> some chicken crumbs. So I'm gonna feed God's ducks. Hallelujah. I pray that I bless somebody. Go on walk in who you are in God. No limitations. I break all the limitations off of you today. In the name of Jesus, I break them off of you today. Every limitation that you want to set for yourself, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Go on walk in who you are in God. Hallelujah. You're going to find yourself in a place, a blessed place, just by walking with him. Hallelujah. Suddenly, suddenly, everything about your life can change in an instant. Suddenly, hallelujah, God can do it for you, woman of God. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing. God can do it for you suddenly. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. Your breakthrough can happen suddenly. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Be blessed.